What's going on YouTube? Tim from SSG and I'm here with... Um, Eric Williamson. What did you just do, Eric? I just got fifth place at um, the Providence Regional with um, Trickstar Orcus. Is this your first top ever? Yes, it is, and it feels good. Congratulations. Let's get in this deck profile. Of course. Uh, so first off with the Trickstars, um, we have one Candina, one Corobane. Uh, I, so my friend was playing Lily Bell. But I didn't want to play Lily Bell because if you open Lily Bell, it's kind of dead in your hand. And Coral Bane is just a free body, even if you open it. Um, the real card which I loved today was Neo Space Connector and Dolphin. Um, my opponents had hand traps, but I just used this and baited out their hand traps, and then I would go like instant fusion and then do the whole combo. And then we have the Orchest Engine, play two Nightmare. Um, too hard. Uh, people play three usually, but I didn't have space and I was either third harp or foolish burial. I thought foolish is better because it's more uh, versatile than harp. How did foolish end up working out for you? It worked out really well actually because um, if I had harp and I didn't have like another any extenders in hand, then I could just use foolish, dump something, and then I'd have full combo. Did you ever miss the third harp? Not really. And then we had one skeleton and one wand. These were good. I just never wanted to open them. And then I had um, Ibli, just because I didn't want a brick with two Orcus Nightmare. Uh, this didn't really do anything for me today, honestly. That's the combo by itself, too. Yeah, it is, but I never really used it. If I had, like, Connector, I would do the combo with that instead. Then I had Cloak and Boots. Uh, these were good, except when I opened them. And then uh, the part which I played, which some people disagreed with me about, were the hand traps, the three ash, and the two Valor. These did a lot, actually. When I was playing against Striker, I stopped them from setting, resetting Widow Anchor by uh, ashing or Valoring them. And if I, I, then I played the Mirror. I um, Valored his Mermaid. He had nothing else, so I just went and Boral Sorted him. But these were good because if you lose the die roll, which I did more than I wanted to, you um, uh, would have be fighting kind of an uphill battle. And then we have my favorite card, Light Stage, because it turns off, going second, this card turns off uh, back row. That's where it's good. And uh, two terraforming to search the Light Stage. Moving on from those, we had we had the um, uh, best spell card, Call by the Grave. The card saved me several times. If I didn't top deck this card, I probably would have lost during those matches because they had Lancia. I was like, Call by the Grave. That's why I only play 40 because you, if they cite in Lancia, you want to see the Call by the Grave. Uh, moving on. I have a uh, three instant fusion. This was good. My I played Draco today, and I used this to out the border. Then I played two twists because three is kind of bricky, and uh, they're like mind decks, floodgates, back rows, kind of annoying. So these were good. Then I had uh, one Babel, one Rota, one Foolish. Rota was just extra connector. Babel. You have to play it. Foolish, I didn't play uh, Return, because Return, just it's really just a brick. And you have other things to set with Galatea. Then onto the traps. Shade, because see if you open one of the PKs, you can sack them, have an extender. Double Fog Blade, and one Crescendo. I actually managed to set this with Babel. Uh, no, to this kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, you, I knew you'd do it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, Where'd you come in? Uh, fifth place. Ah. Yeah. We're doing the video, right? Better. Why'd you do it? We're doing the video, right? Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. All right. Uh, on to the extra deck. One uh, Thousand Eyes Restricts. Card was actually really good today because I could steal their stuff. Bomber. This was meant for more grindy matches. I never played it once. It did nothing. Two Mermaid for grind games. This came up once, I think, the second Mermaid. Uh, Cerberus, Phoenix, because they're removal, and they go into Mermaid. Unicorn was nice. 
Longersu was good when I played against Thunder. I set up the whole board. I had a lot of extenders, so I was able to set up Longersu with the rest of the combo, and that's what stopped him. Uh, three Galatea, which was good. Bardish, um, free OTK, and two Dengersu, because this gets you. There's sometimes you're in, when you're really grinding, you're in very awkward situations. And then you want to have that extra Dengirsu in the extra deck to play with. And then the side deck, which is really what was probably the best today. Uh, three Lancia. This was okay, I guess. Uh, I played it twice. Once it got called by the grave, so it didn't really matter. Um, Didi Crow. Never sided it in once because I expected to play Salad. Didn't play a single Salad player, which was weird. Um, the third Valor, in case I go second. Um, the third harp in case I go first, and that's it for the monsters in the side. The spells, I played one mind control, because it was just fun to play one of in the side. Regeki, for a ne I put I said this in against Necroz, they made a Vanities Ruler, and I just regeki them, and they lost. Then I, Dark Hole, because it's just another Regeki, basically. Third Twister for back row decks, and then for the last side deck card, my favorite side deck card actually today, Red Reboot, because when I played against Draco, I just rebooted him. I rebooted him twice actually, and then I spoil sorted him for game. Uh, Any changes you make going forward? Um, I I would play in perms instead of Valors if I had them, but I don't, so that's the change I would make. I also would consider Actually, no, I think it was good. I would cut Bomber, maybe put Redoer in instead, because there was a lot more situations where I could have made Redoer instead, so I thought that was good. Um, but I think it was fine for the most part. I would still play the same hand trap lineup in the main, as always. You remember going to matchups really? Uh, my matchups, they were, um, I played a lot of Striker today. I didn't play a single Salad player. The Striker matchups, because I had the hand traps, they weren't able to, um, reset the Widow Anchor most of the time, so because they didn't have that extra out, I would just go and kill them. Uh, I played Danger Th one Danger Thunder, which was good. I lost to um, Orcus. He was playing a really weird build. It was like Danger, Guard Dragon, Warrior, Orcus, and I lost the die roll. Didn't see any of my hand traps, which I side decked, which was really surprising. That's the one match I lost. I played a lot. I played Draco. I played... Um, I played some rogue decks. One guy was playing Danger Blue Eyes, and he was, and I thought that was really interesting. It was a good matchup though for me. But that's about it. Most, mostly I think, uh, mostly it was just strike. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout outs to Ethan for telling me to play the Trick Stars in the deck. Shout outs to Pepe for telling me to play Winda and then me not playing it. Also, not to play Hand Traps because I decided just to do it. Um, and shout outs to my family for um, driving me here so I could actually play and get my top, which was awesome. Also shout outs to Austin for not sharking me during our match, which was, which was good. And that's about it, really. Uh, Congratulations again. Yep. This is Tim signing up.